video, I want to look at the idea of regression. When we have a scatter plot, and we have that the dots follow along approximately a line, we will often use a line that we approximately fit the data with in order to model this, and this is known as regression. It's also known as the line of best fit. And in general, lines always have the form y equal to mx plus b. In this case, m can be found by the standard deviation of the y variable divided by the standard deviation of the x variable times r, the correlation coefficient. b is y bar, the mean of the y values, minus m, the slope we just found, times x bar, the slope of the x values. Let's go back to the two examples I looked at in the previous video. I have my car rental data, and for this, I gave the mean and standard deviation of each of the values. So to start with, for the mean, or for the slope, m, we need to divide the standard deviations. We do the y value, so 2.12, divided by the x standard deviation, 19.58. We then multiply that by r, the value of the correlation coefficient, which is 0.98. And this ends up being about 1.106. For b, we do the mean of the y's, that's 3.12 minus the slope that we just found, times the mean of the x's, which is 25.63. When we do this, we get about 0 0.303. So this tells me that my line is 0 0.106 times x plus 0 0.303. If I look at my grades, we divide the standard deviations. We do y divided by x, so 16.8 divided by 4.4, .4, times the value of r, which is negative 0.94. This gives me a value of negative 0.406, and it should be negative since we do have a negative correlation here. For b, we do the mean of the y's minus the slope Put in an extra dot there, there we go, times the mean of the x's, which is 8.1. This gives me a value of about 105.89. So for this one, my line would be y is equal to negative 4.06x plus 105.89. The last thing I want to look at is this coefficient of determination, and this is r squared. It is literally the correlation coefficient squared. And this tells you the portion of the variable that's predictable. It also tells you how well the model fits your data between 0 and 100. So if I go back to the graphs I was looking at before, r was equal to 0.98 for my cars, so r squared would be 0.98 squared, which is 0.9604. So 96% is tells us about how well the model fits the data. Our model fits about 96% of our data, which is fairly high. For the case of the grades and the absences, we had r equal to point not, negative 0.94. So to find r squared, we need to square that value. This gives us 0.8836, so 88% is how well our model fits our data.